Nazis with powers? What's up guys? Ash the Movie Guy here from the Rated R Gamers. Today, we look at a movie called Blood Creek. It was directed by Joe Schumacher, who made Batman Forever. Remember that one? Yeah. Blood Creek is about a German family that live in the town Creek, which is in West Virginia. Adolf Hitler sent out a group of Nazi spies. He believed that this ancient artifact held the key to immortality and the key to the war. 70 years later, Evan Marshall's brother goes missing. He disappears in a town called Blood Creek. Two years later, has gone by and he returns alive. The other brother asks no questions about this and they just pretty much load up the guns and off they go to Blood Creek. I mean, no hugs, no, hey, you doing, or anything like that. Oh, oh well, let's just grab our guns and go to Blood Creek then, eh? Great idea. Okay, so they pretty much get the guns and go. He goes back there because this family has kept them there for two years. Whoa, and he's pissed. So he wants to take revenge on this family. When you get to this part, things start to get really good, and I start to enjoy the movie a lot more. There is not much scenes with CGI in it, which is good. One of my main complaints about this movie is, when they shot the gun, they didn't really show much emotion. It was like something like this. You know, stuff like that, it is sort of noticeable. But other than that, it was a pretty damn good movie. I did like the Nazi looking demon sort of thing they had going on. It was well done. I also like how it could possess things. That was pretty cool. All the actors fit well in their roles. This movie is original and creepy. It's creepy, alright. I give this movie a 4 out of 5 stars. I mean, it was pretty decent. This has been a movie review by Ash from the Rated R Games. Stay tuned for more. Huh, this makes a really good back scratcher. God, finally found a use for this damn old replica. Oh, pretty good.